What up? It's your boy NWP, and we're back at it once again with another video. And guys, we have officially made it two weeks into season 14 here in Apex Legends. And obviously, Hunted has definitely been an interesting situation. We've gotten a lot of new content, but we also got a lot of new bugs and issues alongside the new season which is somewhat to be expected when you get a ton of new content added into a game that is a live service. But we in fact did get our first bug fix patch just yesterday and it left a lot to be desired, which kind of falls in line with everything we know about Respawn and the track record that they actually have with fixing problems in the game as soon as possible. But today we're not going to be taking a look at Apex Legends in particular, but we're going to take a look at the new single player game set in the Apex Legends universe and what information we currently know about it as well as what we can expect for the game. But first, if you enjoy the channel, how about taking the time to like this video? And if you're new, smash down that subscribe button with the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. And you know what else, guys? If you want to win a thousand Apex coins, take the time right now to go into the comment section. Make sure you leave a comment with your in-game name, platform, and region, and you'll be entered to win a thousand Apex coins if you're a subscriber here on the channel that manages to slap down that like button. But let's get into today's video because it is kind of an interesting situation. We've been seeing a lot of flux when it comes to the overall developer pool and the amount of people joining as well as the amount of people leaving respawn and we had another dev say their goodbyes and let us know some very interesting information on their final day at respawn letting us directly know that they have had hands-on work with the new single player experience that is set to release in the apex legends and titanfall universe now, one thing to note here is that some of the devs that have actually talked about this and some of the information we've seen about this has harped on the fact that it is the Apex Legends universe and some of it has made a steadfast statement to let us know that this is the Titanfall universe, which lets you know that there is in fact some OG developers from the Titanfall days as well as some of the new really Apex Legends minded developers working on this new title. And it's definitely got an interesting point of view of what you can expect this to be. Titanfall was realistically meant to be a multiplayer competitive driven game where the entire idea was even the single player was inside of multiplayer. So even the campaign story mode was multiplayer. And that's something that was very unique to the Titanfall game itself. And then Titanfall 2 came out with a little bit more traditional setup and storyline to it. But the overall consensus is that that story is over. We've ended the actual Titanfall war story that was happening at that moment. And then we've got Apex Legends, which brings us to an era that's not too far in the future, but in the future after the Titanfall War era. So what happened between then and now that set up everything that we see? The Apex games, the Outlands, all the character stories that we've come to learn and love throughout the seasons here in Apex Legends, what started it all? What caused all of this to become not only a prominent factor in everyone's lives, but an entertainment source for a majority of the people living in the Outlands. It's definitely where I think they would head with such an idea and what would make a really good game, considering there really is no realistic way looking at the current roster in Apex Legends to make a, a really compelling single player game that covers even the original legends that were set at release. So it would have to be a massive undertaking and a game that would span multiple years to create if you were going to focus on so many different legends backstories and finishing you know their stories out a bit. Whereas if you were to take something like what was Blisk doing between the end of Titanfall 2 and the creation of the Apex games or what was Blisk doing during that hiatus 
that the IMC and the Hammond Robotics people were talking about. Like, what was Blisk doing? Where has he been? There's a whole host of different storylines that could occur in that particular timeline and would give us a ton of reference for not only Titanfall, but also Apex Legends, furthering the universe in a massive way. So I definitely think we're going to see a prequel game here, but it's definitely not necessarily going to be as Titanfall oriented as some people may actually really want. Now, there's two reasons that they keep saying it's the Apex Legends universe, in my opinion. One of them being particularly that the majority of people that are fans of Apex Legends are not necessarily fans of Titanfall. And the Titanfall overall community is much smaller than the actual Apex Legends community. And the reality is more people that play Apex care about Apex and don't really care about Titanfall. So I think that's one of the major reasons. But also I think that the Titanfall storyline kind of ended. And while it is the same universe, it is at this point kind of more speaking of where we're going rather than where we've been. So it's the Apex universe moving forward. But it is in fact still the same exact timeline franchise and, you know, cinematic universe if you will that we've always seen so i think there's a couple reasons behind that particularly i also think there's definitely a lot of room to add in what people really crave in the titanfall franchise in this upcoming game where they can add in some of that titan gameplay that was really a fan favorite of titanfall and they can bring back some of those weapons that you know really have no place in apex legends but definitely have a place in a single player game for instance the smart pistol and these kind of things really will add to the game as well as the myriads of other crazy little minutia aspects of the, the titanfall campaigns that can be added in just to add in a little bit more filler and backstory there's definitely a lot to be said about that but i'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this one because this is definitely something that's going to affect the community the most in the end and i'd love to know also are you planning on playing the single player game when it comes out but where do you think they're going to go with the game do you think it's going to be the backstories of Legends, or do you think it's going to be the backstory of Apex itself? Drop the comment down below and let me know what you think about this one. And don't forget to include your in-game name, region, and platform so you can get entered to win that thousand Apex coins. As always, guys, this has been an interesting topic to debate, and I really am kind of interested in playing the single-player game I really enjoyed what Respawn did with the Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order title. And I know I've probably talked about this before at some length, but that game was really actually good. I mean, yeah, there's definitely some bugs and some issues that were in the game that made it, you know, a little bit sketchy at times. But the game itself was absolutely stunning. And yes, it it's going to fall victim to the same things that every sword-based game falls victim to, where you have this really finite set of animations and sword play that you do. But it was still a really enjoyable game. The force powers and the wall running and stuff like that made it very unique and really gave it that respawn kind of feel at the same time. So it's definitely something that I would say pick up if you haven't played it already. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely loving the idea of an Apex single player story. And I'd really like to see where they end up going with it. But also, I, I really am noticing that there's like just a severe quality drop in the single player games for this favoritism of multiplayer games. Because I'm sure there's probably way more multiplayer money available in the end, but like, Gaming really was uh, an escape to a story scape of itself, some new land and world. And I think we're missing a lot of that in the current landscape that we have, to be honest. It's just the way it is. But if you want to continue this conversation, guys, head on over to the social media links. They're on the screen as well as in the description down below. Give them a like, a favorite, a follow. At me and some of the crazy shenanigans that you're getting into here in season 14. I definitely would love to get 
some crazy plays on my feed and of course you'll know about upcoming giveaways and other shenanigans first but if you'd like to find out you know what other content i'm putting out definitely check out instagram and tiktok where i try to upload almost as regularly as here on youtube but that about wraps it up for today's video hopefully you guys got some information that you'd enjoy but here's another video that you should check out if you have the chance thanks for watching thanks for liking thanks for subscribing and don't forget you won't be able to enjoy the multiplayer apex legends or a new single player game if you don't stay safe stay healthy and as always have a good one